plane. We're not in the underground church in China. This is America. You know what I'm saying? And, and I did it. I said, wouldn't it be awesome if some president somewhere in time declared that you're going to give 10 gifts this Christmas, three of them have to be handmade. If we had to go back to handmaking gifts, what value, you know, would, would it have? I mean, just not lose the spirit of it because Christ our Savior is born. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. So I'm going to kind of just take my time and worship through uh, my favorite carols. I became a carol specialist even at Webster University when I have I have a triple major from there. It sounds like I'm really smart, but it's because I was a political science major first. <laughs> I had two years at UMSL. And then I graduated from Webster and I did symphonic analysis, all the composers. I did film score work. And I, when I got to the carols, I picked my favorite truth-based carols that, that I could, you know, find. And, oh, come all ye faithful, hark the herald angels, what child is this? So we're going to just go right through them tonight in worship. And um, this is one of my favorite times of the year. This is a family night. We're also going to, Lisa's going to lead us in communion. And uh, she's one of the pastors here. And I, I love this name gateway river everybody jump in the river somebody say amen lisa come on and pray man hallelujah father i thank you for this evening i thank you for your awesome presence and your spirit that i feel even from the beginning god i thank you above all for the perfect oh, gift of your son jesus where the word became flesh and dwelt among us I thank you, Father, that he's our wonderful counselor. He's our Prince of Peace. Oh God, he's yes. our light in the darkness. Yes. I thank you, God, that you've given us the perfect gift of salvation that was wrapped up in a manger. I thank you oh for this God. season that we celebrate the birth of salvation, that, that we may be reconciled to you. I invite Hallelujah. you, Father, to Hallelujah. take over this service and do what only you can do in Jesus' name. Say quiet. 
choirs of angels and sing choirs of yes lord with the angels we sing song tonight lift up your voice yeah. Christ the Lord oh, Christ the Christ is 
shepherds living out in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord flashed upon them. The splendor of the Lord blazed around them, and they were seized with fear. But the angel reassured them, don't be afraid, for behold, I bring you the most joyful news ever announced. There is great joy coming to the whole people. It is for everyone. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, a Deliverer, the Messiah. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the infant wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly the angel was joined by a vast multitude of the heavenly host, the armies of heaven praising God and saying glory to God in the highest among men in whom he is well pleased peace on earth to men that are God's friends on whom his favor rests and tell the heaven born prince of peace hail the son of the She believed in the vision and in the call in my life back in 1974 at New Covenant. I said, "Hun, you said yes and you married me. Were you crazy? <laughs> How many were around back at New Covenant or Grace World Outreach Center? Oh, my God. No, we were in Scotland last year and about the seventh night or eighth night out of ten, we were in a hotel getting ready to go to dinner. I said, "Hun, thanks for marrying. She goes, well, after all these years, <laughs> she goes, you're special, Kent. I said, okay. <laughs> but I said, hon, it was the hand of the Lord. She goes, are you just realizing that now? <laughs> I said, the hand of the Lord. How many remember those days when the Holy Spirit was moving? But Carla's up running the Sling Studio. This is being streamed tonight onto Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank God I don't have to do it three different times. <laughs> But she said this, she's seen angels. 
and it was at Destiny years ago. And she said, I don't care what people think. Their names are Darius. And give me the second one, Carla. Is she up there? Carla? Aramaeus, it's Aramaeus or something like that. And she goes, one time they were there, a portal was open. How many believe in portals? I mean, listen, angels descending. I've had visions. How many believe in angels? Yeah, I mean, a miracle. Come on now. We're not done yet. And the election still ain't over. That was for free. I'm trying to... I'm trying to. <laughs> Stop it. This is Carol's night. <laughs> But she said, Darius, I want to ask you a question. She goes, how many angels were there the night that Christ was born? Get ready. She said, oh, he said, we were all there. Of course they were. I got chills. I'm going to fall off the piano. But I said, what? Oh, my God. She, he goes, we were all there. The whole, I go, oh, my God. I don't even know. That was for free. Ooh, that was good. Let's take a minute on that. I, I'm trying to calm down, and I can't. <laughs> Lynette, is she up there? Yeah. It. Uh, do what? Okay. Well, that's like the devil. <laughs> she'll, she'll get it figured out. But, but she got, and I said, hun, I, I totally. 100% believe that they were all there because I want to add I'm going to do the third verse again hail the heaven born my friend Bud Kalani called me one night this guy's 007 in the spirit little Lebanese guy he's like 5'7 five, 5'8 five, at most he's walked past uh, bodyguards for prime ministers he's delivered the word of the Lord I mean I said bro I'm out there but you're way out there and he called he says Ken it was a Thursday night he would talk in a real low voice Rick which I'm a vocal major I'm real sensitive he goes, Ken, how you doing? I said, I'm good, bud. What's going on? He goes, well, I just want to call you with my recent revelation that as I was praying. I said, what did you get? He goes, well, I started thinking about the Son of God and all of his glory. And when the Son of God said to the Father, yes, Lord, I'll put on a dirt suit and go to earth. Time stood still. Heaven became quiet because the angels were aghast. They'd only known him in his glory. They said, there's no way he'll ever put off this glory. He can't do it. The angels, it, it, you see what Bud was saying? I go, oh my God, I never thought. The angels had only known the Son of God, eternity, pre-time pre, pre and eternity. As the Mag not, Psalm 96, splendor, beauty, and majesty are before your throne. Aren't you glad he came for us? I couldn't hear you, aren't you? Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness, light and life to all He brings, risen with healing Him. In the same region of Bethlehem, there were shepherds living out in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord flashed upon them. The splendor of the Lord blazed around them, and they were seized with fear. 
But the angel reassured them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you the most joyful news ever announced. Yes. There is great joy coming to the whole earth. It is for everyone. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, a Deliverer, the Messiah, and this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the infant wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly the angel was joined by a vast multitude of heavenly hosts, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, among men with whom he is well pleased. Peace on earth to men that are God's friends, on whom his favor rests. What child is this, is who Thank you. 
time there is none chapter 5 verses 2 through 6 but as for thee Bethlehem little as thou art in the midst of the thousands of Judah from you shall come forth for me the future ruler of Israel yes. he springs up from a line of ancient times my king who is alive from everlasting ages past yes my king who was alive from everlasting ages past he shall appear and be their shepherd and the Lord shall feed his flock with majesty and in the glory of the name of the Lord their God they shall subsist they will live secure from then on he will extend his power yes. his greatness and government Woo. shall reach to the end of the earth Isaiah 9 6 and 7 to the increase of his government there'll be no end and his shalom his peace somebody say yes Lord it'll be increasing 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 the government's on his shoulders not on your and mine isn't that awesome the government's not on our shoulders Woo, man
been playing music since I was 11 years old. My dad got me my first guitar, me and my younger brother, in 1964. He brought home two slimline Epiphone hollow body electric guitars. I thought we'd gotten rid of it. My dad, before he passed, called me and said, Ken, I've got your guitar down in the closet. And he burst into tears. He's a World War II veteran. I thanked him for getting me started in music. I said, Dad, you didn't know I would serve the Lord, but you do now. Because he was at that point, like, I think he was like 78 or 79. He lived to be 89 years old. When I thanked him for getting me started in music, he started crying. It, it was a Kodak moment, dude. And I said, I'm going down to get it right now, Dad. I'm going to hang it on my wall forever. I mean, it's not crossing over with me. This is a great story. I was at New Covenant years ago. I've been there a couple years, right? I have a 12-string guitar, a DY-76 from St. Louis Music Supply. And some guy knocked it over. He was up on the platform at the end of the youth meeting. He was like mortified. He said, bro, please don't do that. It's okay. It's a piece of wood with 12 strings on it. Somebody say, that was good. <laughs> I gave him a big hug and said, okay, everybody settle him down. Let's have some cleansing breaths. <laughs> when you knock over, it's like knocking a guy's motorcycle over or something. It's not good. It's not good. But he was so, I said, bro, it's fine. Believe me. And I said, you didn't know when I got it uh, in from, it was, it's a Yari, a handmade, Kazuya Yuri made a, a handmade line of guitars. I said, it was already cracked at the bottom a little bit around the binding I had to send to the refurb department it was a great deal I got it for a hundred dollars <laughs> they only sold for about a thousand dollars back in the day isn't that good so the hopes and fears of all the years is one of my favorite Larry clients of all time we're going to do verse one again the hopes and fear and listen we started doing our live stream in March March 19th wow people were putting up on the screen it's set up that I can see people's response on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. Kent, you're abating our fears. Multiple times, even from overseas, Brazil, I went, wow, I'm actually singing in the anointing, abating people's fears. That's how it works, right, guys? And the anointing breaks every yoke because it's only a virus, man. It's only a virus. He's still king and Lord over all, right? I mean, we can't live in fear. We're Americans, for God's sake. We're free. And w when I heard about, I I'm just going out there, Gavin Newsom closing down worship in California, I said, I don't think so. We know we know what you're doing. We say no. We'll never stop singing, and you're not going to put masks on us forever. Thanks for sharing, Brother Ken. It was really good. <laughs>
This is good news of great joy. Sing amen. Sing amen. Good news of great joy for all men. Good news of great joy for all men. Somebody sing amen. Won't you sing amen. Good news of great joy for all men of great joy this is the gospel sing amen sing amen good news of great joy for all men good news of great joy for all men somebody sing amen come on sing amen oh, good news of great joy for all It's probably in the top three, if not in the number one slot. Silent night. How many have loved it for years? Midnight mass. How many were raised Catholic with Uncle Ken? We're <laughs> we've been to midnight mass. I've been to, and I was passing on 109 St. Albans. They said, "Sorry, our Christmas Eve services are full." messing around in Wuhan released a virus we're praying it down but we're not okay with that you know Trump said we'll make him pay I don't know about that but I'm just telling you wow look what you did there's all sorts of stuff truth and they said it was August a year ago it was already released in the Wuhan area and people were dying of it and they didn't report it the end to evil is coming is coming somebody say yes Lord the end of it is good. He's coming back again. Did, did you guys remember that? <laughs> Lisa, go ahead and I want you to go ahead and read Matthew. Matthew 1, 18 through 23 says, Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place under these circumstances. His mother, Mary, was engaged to Joseph. But while she was still a virgin, it was found that she was about to become a mother through the power of the Holy Spirit. While Joseph thought on these things, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, the descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Her child is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you must call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sin and prevent them from failing and missing the true end of life, which is God. Now all of this happened in fulfillment of what the Lord had spoken by the prophets. Behold, a virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. God is with us. you are with us before we do silent night let's just sing his name Emmanuel 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 Lord you are with us oh, feels good doesn't it Emmanuel Man, 
sounds so good. Yeah, he met you well. Lord, you are with us. He met you well. He met you well. Lord, you are well. Do it again. Lord, at thy birth, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, do it again, Son of God, and Son. Son of 
His presence awesome in the house tonight. Wow. What a time of celebration. If I haven't had a chance to tell you personally, we thank you for being with us this evening. Yeah. Christmas is certainly a time of worship and celebration, and it blesses my heart to see people that will come out and step out and, and refuse to be shut down. That's right. That's right. Amen. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. There's no God like my God. There's no power like the power of the blood. There's no power like the power of the Word. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Amen. And not only dwelt among us, but dwells in us. Power to be victorious. Power to stand undefeated in Jesus' name. So we bless you from Gateway River Church. We welcome you. We're glad, I'm glad that you're here with us this evening. Communion is such a very special time. And I wanted to just try to put into words what happened on that night that we call Christmas Eve, a night that's been celebrated through the ages and prophesied from the beginning of time. And it says, the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. He didn't have to come. He chose to. 
and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace, full of grace, and full of truth. That was his birth. 33 and a half years later, he chose to die. To take upon himself the burden of our transgressions and to become the reconciliation between a lost world and the Heavenly Father, the creator of all things. So when we we partake of communion, especially during this holiday season. Not only do we celebrate his birth, but we celebrate the sacrifice that he made on the cross. So that three days later, <laughs> we can celebrate resurrection. Can you say amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The grave couldn't keep it. So, but we remember that in, in communion that his body was bruised and broken. First Corinthians says this, that they were at the Last Supper, and, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner, when he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. And I'd like our pastor to just pass our communion plate around.
Jesus. Thank you for your body, God. And after the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy of it all. standing because I'm going to need your help on this song. Um, this was not on my original album, but um, how many of you sing in the shower? You sound great in there. Come on, don't lie about it, man. You people are something. Dogs and coyotes are howling in the field. And <laughs> your, your bathroom's a natural reverb chamber. We all sound pretty good in there. Josh Groban couldn't be here tonight, so you're going to help me sing Oh Holy Night. So I need your best voice. But before we do it, I had looked this up about a year ago, but it didn't finish it until today. 
that O Holy Night is Cantique de Noel in French. Again, a parish priest, because the organ had broken down, they just got it fixed. When they were opening back up, he went to the poet in, um, it's a funny French name, it's South Central France, and said, I'm gonna ask you to put to put a poem together for the dedication of our organ to the glory of God. Thank God for a parish priest that was some kind of believer because the guy he asked lived in the village. He's a known French poet, but I'm not even sure he was a believer. But what he did write, I think under the priest tutelage, the way I understand it, he wrote Minuit Christians, the Midnight Christians. He wrote it for the Midnight Christians, for God's sake midnight mass and I because when it strikes midnight we don't care though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death finish it for me I'm not fearing any evil my life is in his hands my life is in his hand and so when he wrote it um, I just want to read some of the lyrics so that that you can get this and hear it it said midnight midnight Christians this is the original lyrics for oh hold it you can sit down for a minute because it would take me a second to do this he wrote midnight Christians in this solemn hour when God had as man descended unto us to erase the sl- stain of original sin and to end the wrath of his father these are the original Holy Night lyrics in French. The entire wor- world thrills with hope on this night that gives it a savior. People kneel down. People kneel down. Christmas, Christmas, here is the Redeemer. Christmas, Christmas, here is a Redeemer. Now, if you're doing the math, it took an American who lived in Boston that found the song 12 years later, translated it, and not all the words would fit on a tr- the translation. And his name was uh, Dwight. Hang on a second, I gotta get this. And by the way, it, it was written in 1847. So think about faith coming through the years. Lisa was just talking about it. We have an extraordinary, since the birth of Christ, the prophecies, you know, five, 6,000 years, the fall in the garden, we got it and sin came in. But we have right now, of faith that has gone through the century. Somebody say amen. It's found, that's why, I think that's why I love the carols so much because, you know, I mean, <clears throat> carols are just like hymns. You can get some poor ones that don't have good theology in them, I get that. But these things, when I read these words, I said, let me go to the second verse. May the ardent light of our faith, he said, and maybe he was a Catholic believer, the ardent light of our faith guide us all to the cradle of the infant as in ancient times, a brilliant star guided the Oriental kings there. The king of kings was born in a humble manger. O mighty ones of today, proud of your greatness. Check it out. It is to your pride that God preaches, bow your hearts before the Redeemer and bow your heads. He called them out. So that's verse one and then verse you can see, uh, and you'll see the three verses translate over. Finally, he wrote, I'm sure the priest was really excited. Could you imagine getting this back from a nationally known poet? I don't know if he gave him cheat sheets or whatever, but it sounds pretty good to me. The Redeemer has broken every bond. Somebody say amen. The earth is free and heaven is open. Somebody say amen. He sees a brother where there's only a slave. Say amen. Love unites those whom iron had chained. That's where... Love shall, you know, the slave is our brother. Uh, Who will tell uh, him of our gratitude? For all of us, he is born, he suffers and dies. He put the whole story. People stand up, sing of your deliverance, because Christmas, Christmas, sing of the Redeemer. Christmas, Christmas, sing of the Redeemer. So that was written in 1847. And then I put down, here's, this guy was a minister John Sullivan Dwight, an American, translated the song into English in 1855. So somebody do the math. Is that right? 12 years later. How did he even hear of it? And um, it, Well, there was no internet, bro. There's no... 
word of mouth still counts, doesn't it? Unless it's one o'clock in the morning, an infomercial. We don't believe any of that. Anyway, that was for free. But he, he wrote, and I, I, I was thinking of the faith through the years, and then an American believing man in Boston, Massachusetts, in 1855, he did the lyric conversion into what we sing today, which, um, let me just read it to you. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Could you believe that he took that? I mean, it's quite a feat. I believe the Holy Spirit helped him because now we've been singing it since that time all the way through a couple hundred years. And you got to stand back to your feet. You guys better rip it loose. You're on, you're on the mark. Come on, everybody up to your feet. I want to see what you're my little junior choir tonight. Remember, Josh couldn't make it, but you, you did. And oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world and long.
His law is love and His gospel is real. Chains, chains shall He break for the slave. want you to pray a pastoral blessing. We're not done yet, but I feel in this moment, I want you to pray over our new year. Collect your thoughts and bust out a prayer of faith in the name, in the name, in the name. Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for your presence. We do not take it for granted. And we respond to it, Lord, by lifting our hands and lifting our hearts, even though this moment. We bless you, Lord. We thank you for the gift of Christmas. We thank you, Lord, that even in the where the nation is, God, of people of faith, that we know even in the turning of the new year, God, we sense a change is coming, a good change. We thank you that even revival is coming to this nation after the beginning. We, we, we speak to the harvest, God, that you're bringing in from the north, the south, the east, and the west. And we stand on the promise, yeah, Lord, that you talked God. about. Woo! And we let everybody lift your hands, if you would, to him. We're praying specifically now for the harvest okay, that's on. coming in. So many churches, I feel the anointing of God so incredible in yeah. here right now. I want you to open your mouth if you're filled with the Spirit. And just by the Spirit, just let that go a moment. Other churches don't do this, but just a moment, bless Him. Let the Holy Spirit use you for just a couple minutes. 
And God, there you go, just a little more out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly. Father, I thank you for the harvest. We proclaim that. We stand on that together. We call in the hurting, the bruised, those that have been that have filled this place, those that are looking for a place, God. And I know you're raising up, Lord, many churches across this nation. And people are going to run into them, Kent. They're going to run into the house of God because they're going to feel the presence of God. And we thank you for the harvest that's coming in the new year, God. We don't know, we don't know all what it holds, but we know, God, that you're, you go before us. And you've already been in the new year. <laughs> Yeah. And we bless you, Lord, yeah. for what you're going to do in the new year. We embrace it, Lord. We hear what you're saying, and we're listening. We, we embrace it, and we're going to apply it to our life. And the Word says we'll get results if we do that. So we bless you for it, and we stand on your Word. Thank you for the Word, God. Would you say that with me? Thank you for the Word, God. In Jesus' name. Just linger right there. That's beautiful, beautiful. Oh, night. Oh, night divine. Noel, Noel. Noel. We say yes and amen to every word and every promise, Lord. Just say it out loud. We say yes, Lord, to every word and to every one of your promises in the name, and they'll never take this away. Christmas is in, ingrained in our culture from our founding fathers all the way through, Lord, and it can never take it away. No, in Jesus' name, it's, it's etched in our history, the birth of the Savior, in Jesus' name. Everybody said, so be it, Lord. Okay, I want you to be seated. I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'm going to ask you guys to pray for us, and I'm going to do our, our evening offering. Um, you know, it's how, right? How? First name, yeah. I'm not kidding. This is not a joke to me. This is one of our last shots for Carrie Chow's for Ken Henry Ministries. That's what I'm sensing. Either we do this and get going or the devil's got foul play, man, which we know about that. But so December, excuse me, March 19th, well, when Trump, thank God, shut down international travel at the end of uh, Feb January into February, well, you know what we would be like right now? I mean, it would have been rampant. And it, they all made fun of him and stuff, and then you ate your words because, you know, it, look, it's, it's a small percentage. I know people have died. I, I get that. It's very heavy for those families. But so March 17th, he said, I'm shutting down the nation. Never in our history has that happened. So March 18th, 
my son, Matt, the Sling Studio that's sitting up there, um, it's Ryan, right? He was asking me, we go live with the Sling Studio and we go to uh, onto three platforms instantaneously, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And I thank God I don't have to do it three times. Old school, we'd have to, I'd have to run through everything <laughs> three times. Um, but what happens, we started March 19th. Now the bonus for me, as a Carla Ray standing right back here, my wife, and we have three children, eight grandchildren, not number nine's on the way. On the 18th, I looked at her and said, "Hun, please don't make me do this by myself. And she goes, what? You want me in front of a camera? <laughs> she, sta she started doing some stuff, and Taryn, my daughter-in-law, said, Carla, please at least try it. <laughs> we went 91 days straight, you guys, from March 19th all the way through June until we were at the Gateway House of Prayer, G-Hop on 4646 Lindbergh. Anybody know where that building's at? <laughs> oh, God. These, you're all my people. <laughs> You're my peeps, man. New covenant, grace, all the way through. What happened is a young couple I raised up in the Lord, Nathaniel Herbert and his beautiful wife, they had COVID and had no idea they had it. And they gave it to 10 people in one night. They gave it to me, my wife, my son, and seven other people as we're leaving at 930 at night. And uh, it was not fun. But look, I'm still alive. I, I, I'm 67, Jack. I'm not, I didn't fall off the turnip truck yesterday. <laughs> How many are over 50 in this room, man? Say, what? <laughs> um, so when, when we did the streams, you know me, I said, if I'm going to do the psalm a day, I'm going to do a psalm every day for 14 days just to help people. 14 days, way to go, Kent. I got to day 12, and people were going, do not stop. You're abating our fears. That freaked me out. because I mean, it's on the screen. I have a big video screen in front of me while we're doing the stream. So my idea, let's, let's do deep worship for 20, 25 minutes. Let, let's get in there. Let's don't be crusty. Let's go after it. And then we start the Bible narration. The Bible narration of the Psalms, first of all, the Psalms is my, the book of my life. And King David, I love King David for about six months until I found out about Bathsheba. <laughs> then I was ticked off at him for 30 days. How many have ever done that? I, David, I'm going to kill you when I get to heaven. You were at the wrong place. No, it was so personal. I said, David, what did you do, boy? Oh, man. I was so, because I was Catholic. I never read a Bible until I was 19. You know, and then now I'm 20. I'm spirit filled. I go, David, don't make me come over there. No, it, but I, you know, and then he was called a man after God's own heart. The only, he was restored. He lost that baby. I mean, it's super heavy if you know the story. And so we're doing the Psalms. Now, I have a Bible no longer in print, and they never put it up on the internet. I, I don't know how we never got around to it. It's called the Bible, the Word in 26 translations. It's a, this thick. It has a, a dark blue cover on it. Some guy, Mr. Mathis down in Mississippi, bought the rights from Zondervan Publishing in Michigan, and he was, he was printing them out of a warehouse, I mean, uh, with permission. And then uh, a, a hurricane came through, not Katrina. That was the last one. It was the one before that. No, no. No, they had a storm before that, and, and he rebuilt it. You're, you're not, just a minute, hon. And he rebuilt it. Then, he, he, I don't think it was that old, but he, was, he had slowed down to about 15. He's driving his car 15 miles an hour, and he had a massive heart attack and slid off, just went off the side of the road and died on the side of the road. His son took it over in honor of his father. Then Katrina came, wiped the whole thing out. But the reason I say that the 26 translation is the King James in bold print. Then it compares 25 other translations. If it varies, it puts that phrase underneath of it. I've spent hours studying it. So my narrations on the stream back to March start with the new King James and end with the Passion Bible. Anybody ever seen the Passion Bible? This guy, it's pretty powerful stuff. And so my uh, our narration which carla starts the narration and we go back and forth six verses 18 verses whatever and so we did 91 days what sid roth back to the point this offering you're giving tonight is going to help us well here's the deadline december 20th they want eight episodes we've got two no i mean they're I, we've got them on the hard drive but they have to be edited down to 28 minutes and 30 seconds so the program, and we've already been approved to do it, 
but uh, um, then it starts January 4th. So it's good news, but I'm asking you, I, in the offering, anything you give tonight gets me and Matt in the next 14 days down the road. I, I have to go back through, if you know what auto locator numbers are, or if you've ever seen a video screen with numbers running, I have to go, okay, six minutes of this song, 14 minutes of Carl and I narrating, and seven songs, seven minutes of a song to get out. I just sent a hard drive to Wichita to our videographer, so he got it Thursday night. He's going to start tomorrow afternoon because he had some stuff going on. So I'm going to ask you tonight how many the next two weeks will pray for me and Matt and Dan McMahon. Let me see your hand. I'm, ask, I, I'm not kidding. Be, because... I'm a, I'm a singer at the studio since I'm 18. I'm a high level, I can engineer, I can produce. I've done all that stuff, even out of Webster. But I'm going, Lord, I can't just willy nilly. This is going on. Well, when they asked about the program, they said, how in the world did you pull this off? Because see, they had already uh, had asked to do, do some stuff and we got a letter from Connie Jensen. She's the broadcast manager, uh, manager of broadcast operations. And she says the first ones we sent, this was over a year or 15 months ago. She said, it's not good enough. Our heart sank, but we read her letter and said, you gotta get four color match cameras. So guess what, when COVID, when Michael W. Smith was shut down in his house without any lights, without any cameras, Ken Henry was not. We were all set up and living in the house with the studio. Because I had some friends, Ken Henry, I said, be, be careful, bro. But they were like, you know, getting on me. Only you could go to the next level during COVID-19. How's that possible? <laughs> I said, I'm blocking you right now, bro. Don't be coming on me, Jack. I said, I love Jesus. We're going to put it out there. So um, I want you to think about what you would give if you'll add 10 or $20 to it. We're not even sure what we'll need. And by the way, this is not costing us anything. Sid will put the program on if it's approved. We're not paying, for, you know, like if you go Daystar, TBN, all this, it's huge money. And that's why these guys are always on there talking about it. But if you guys would think about a gift tonight, and then I'm going to hand, Mel, I want you to pray over this offering. And bro, I'm sorry, first name again? T Timothy. Timothy, man, you got some good looking hair there. I just got mine cut off. It was scaring people. It was. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, again, wave at me if you get what I'm talking about. And I was so glad, Rick and Lisa, to be here tonight and tomorrow to share. I'm gonna, I got to get some intercession covering this thing. So Mel, you're just over 39 now. Father, we just ask you tonight to, to bless this offering. We ask you to increase it a thousandfold for your glory. And we ask you to bless Kent and his ministry, Kent and Carla both, as the endeavor to move with um, Sid Roth and, and, and let him put on this, this program and let, let it be a glory to you, Lord. Let it, let, let, it, let it be something that we can all appreciate and we can love and, and we just ask your blessing on them abundantly and, and get through this and have a real, a real good, a good turnout to watch this program. And we just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We just worship you, our holy God. We thank you for your precious son, Yeshua, your Messiah. Oh, Jesus, we thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for leaving your Holy Spirit to be with us and help us through these times. And we just thank you. And forgive me, I, I just got this little bit of a word. I was a new covenant when they started in the firehouse. So I've known you since you've been a young man. Yeah. So, so I've watched your footsteps. I watched the footsteps of you know, Pastor Bob when he went down. And then, uh, I mean, all the pastors, as they moved on and started their churches and you moving up. And God has had his hand upon you. You've come to all these little venues, all these small churches. 
And what have you done? You don't lift yourself up. You lift up the name of the Lord our God. You lift them up and you bring the Holy Spirit comes in and it dwells in the people and falls in the people and heals minds. It heals the hearts. It heals the spirits. So God, there's, there's, I mean, if, like I don't have much money on my pocket today, but if you got a coin in your pocket, drop it in this bucket because it's going to mean something. God can multiply, multiply, multiply like the loaves and fishes. It doesn't matter what you have, how menial it is, or how big it is. It doesn't matter to God. It's your step in faith, the step you take in faith in this time when you give into this. God's hand is on it because I've seen this man from a young man all the way till now. He's been faithful. He's been faithful. He's been faithful. His wife has been faithful. She's stood by his side. She's been such a loving companion. She's been his strength. She's been holding him up. Just like Moses, but when he parted the waters, she's been holding him up, holding his arms up. He's been, she's been there for him. She's been there with him because God loves her she loves him they are a godly family and blessings 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 be poured out upon you kent and your wife carla and your entire family and safety and protection around you as you move forward as you move forward we claim the god of oh yes yes oh we just thank you so all i can say is thank you thank you thank you thank you Yahuwah. thank you god Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Ratakusa, Holy Spirit. We just give you all the praise and all the glory in this. It is not Kent. It is you. It is not any of these people. It is you. It's us lifting our voices to you, giving you all the praise and all the glory. And we give you all the thanks in the name of your Son, Jesus, our Messiah. Amen. And amen. Wait a, wait a minute. How old are you? I'm 61. God, you're a good-looking man, bro. I, I thought, how could you know me when I'm 20? Were you three or something? I, oh I, was, I was the brat kid running around. <laughs> Remember when the covenant was on fire? Yeah. I was there. I was what? one of the kids running through the window. What the heck's going on? And the firemen all came in. The building wasn't burning. How, 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 many, how many were not there at New Covenant when that happened? But let's do it the other way. I just told Dan tonight, Dan Reeves, we were singing for you are my God, you alone. The, our youth group went from 75 to 1500. That would be the summer. I started leading worship June of 1974. Somebody say that's a long time ago. <laughs> and what happened in two and a half years, by the time we were, uh, two and a half years, it was 1500 young people every Saturday night. It went from seven to 1030. Do you think you get anybody to come to a three and a half hour meeting anymore? Yeah. I don't think so. We were in love with Jesus. We want to talk about it, talk, talk like him, look like him, act like him. And the adult church went to 3,000 in the same time period. And so we had Ben Kenchlow from the 700 Club. I love that man. Is he still around or is he gone? He's gone, yeah. He was getting ready. He was going to speak. And honest to God, we, we were finishing up worship, going to just leave space for the offering on Sunday morning. And I started into, it's from the Word of God community, which was a Catholic charismatic community in Ann Arbor, Michigan. For you are my God, you alone are my joy. Defend me, O God. We started cranking this. I was leading worship at the adult service. And all of a sudden, I look out, and there's fire trucks pulling in New Covenant and lights blazing, and these firemen come rushing into the, we're still singing. I said, what are you guys doing here, man? <laughs> We heard there was fire on the roof. <laughs> the neighbors called and asked the fire department to come because there was fire on top of the roof. It's going to happen again. Somebody say yes, Lord. I will. Amen. Amen. Come on up. Hallelujah. I mean, oh, that can happen at your place. Lisa just looked at me. Ken will enjoy this. I'll tell this real quick at our house. It was actually our son-in-law that called us, and he's, he's, this wasn't what, I guess, six, eight months ago, and just started yelling, are you guys okay, are you okay? And um, he seen our house, and there was two pillars of fire coming off the roof. He said, no, no, I seen it, I, I seen it. And it's funny, I got there, we turned around, we had just left. 
w- this is this is comical to most people, but <laughs> so we turn around and we go back. His his truck doors open. His his emergency <laughs> lights are flashing on the truck, and he's like, "Where did it go?" I said, "It's still here. You just can't see it right now." Oh my god! He was like, "No, I seen it. I looked right at." So anyway, uh-huh. y'all lift your hands and say that could happen at my place. Stand with me, if you would. Do you love the ministry of, of Kent Henry? Come on, that was weak. Do you love the ministry? When, you, when you've loved the Lord and have served as long as he has, how many know God can elevate you? I said, God can elevate you. The, 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 there's men elevating their self, but the Lord is elevating this man of God. I, I've heard of him. I feel humbled that he's at our little church here. But I've heard him for years, never met him. We was out at uh, the Red Barn Ministry. Wave at me, Kathy. Yeah. And uh, I believe he would sing like this and the anointing would fall if there was only two or three in the house. Because when you love Jesus, it's easy to do that. Can you say amen? But I want to say this. When you give tonight, don't get serious on me. Smile when I say that. <laughs> Giving is fun. It's like faith. People will get all frowny faced and, 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 and frowny eyebrows. Faith is fun and giving's fun. Can you say amen? Look at your neighbor and say, faith is easy. And say this. Look at somebody else and say, giving is easy. I want, I want to tell you one more thing. This is amazing. Too. My life changed a few years ago. And I used to walk through Walmart. And how many ever seen the books on the prayer of Jabez, wave at me. Oh yeah. So I'm going to tell on myself. Sometimes it's good to do that. I kind of giggled and I shook my head and I said, oh my gosh, they'll try to make money off anything. Oh, God. They wrote a book on the prayer of Jabez. Oh, my God. Then Holy Ghost co- visited my bed about 6.30 one morning. <laughs> and I heard him and it was specific and he said this, I want you to pray over your church and your wife and your family. Uh, yes, yes, sir. And I want you to pray the prayer of Jabez. I didn't even know it. But I knew the voice of God. And I got up and I looked it up. And I began to weep in my bedroom. And I prayed the prayer of Jabez over my family. When in my life changed, I could go into that, don't have the time tonight. But when Kent came to our church just a few weeks ago for the first time, he says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach on the prayer of Jabez. And I was like... And the church started laughing because they've heard me talk about it so many times. Amen. And when you give tonight, I want you to lift it up to the king. And I want to pray the prayer of Jabez right, bro. Yeah. over you. If I told you what it did in my life, it would, it, it would take me a long time. Oh but listen, my life was dramatically changed because I obeyed the voice of the Lord. Can you say amen? Say, would that work for anybody? The Bible says he's no respecter of persons. Can you say amen? I told you it's fun to give. Look at somebody and say it's fun to give. Look at somebody else and say, and faith is fun. Telling you that for a reason. I want you to use those two things. I want you to stretch your faith out with your hand, and I want you to lift it up. And I want you to give, the Bible says, with a cheerful heart tonight. Uh, Woo, I feel the anointing. (laughs) I feel his presence on this. Lift it up high. Ooh, I feel the Holy Ghost. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> yes, Lord. Sometimes we wait on him just a moment. Pray in the spirit just, just a moment for me. So much. Just, just a little. Ooh, hallelujah. This seed is, is part of of, of, of sending him internationally. Do you know through media, you can reach thousands upon hundreds of thousands of people and your seed is going to do that tonight. Can you say amen? Come on, just a little more. Hallelujah. Shalom de compron stefelende. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. 
Go ahead. There's a release coming in the spirit. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just a little more. Say, what's going on? I don't know. Holy Ghost knows. Stay. Say these words with me. Lift your hands. There it is. There's the release right there. Say, oh, that thou would bless me. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. That you would enlarge my coast. That you would enlarge my coast. Everybody point to Kent and say that you would my enlarge coast. his coast. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Say expand his territory, Lord. Expand the territory, God. Now I'm back to you. Say, and that your hand would be with me. Your hand would your face. That you would favor. keep me from evil. Keep me from evil. And that oh. I would cause no pain. Oh. Say this, say in Jesus' name. Say I am blessed and highly favored. Say, I love to give. Say this. Proclaim this. Say, I'm giving into good ground. Ask the Father now. Say, multiply it, Lord. <laughs> Come on, lift up your hands. Say, multiply it, God, so that I can give more. Woo! Hallelujah. He's looking for some conduits. <laughs> I said he's looking for some conduits. God will put it in your hand if, if you'll obey him with it. Do you believe that? I call you blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. Bring your gift up if you would and let's give. Even this is worship. Amen. Come on, let's give. Let's give to the work of the Lord tonight. Let's give to the Hallelujah. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Call you blessed. Call you blessed. Call you blessed. Call you blessed. Yes. Tim, step in the room. Yes. Step in the room, Tim. Call you blessed. We call you blessed. Thank you. Call you blessed in Jesus' name. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly sing o'er the plain and the
for the minute, the last song of the night, Joy to the World. The lyrics on this are so profound. How many, this is in your top 10, Joy. (laughs) I'm going to read just a little bit. Uh, Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive any day now the nations receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. Heaven and nature sing. That one should be pretty uh, familiar. It's verses three and four. No more let sin and sorrows grow. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessing flow. We just heard it from Pastor Rick. Far as the curse of thank God, his blessing is even beyond where the curse is found. uh, For far as the curse is found. Then the last one, he rules the world with truth truth and grace. He's got the whole world in his hands. Don't forget it. When things slick out of control. And he makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness, the wonders of his love. Wow. uh, God so loved the world. It's truly amazing, man. Can we get over to see? Joy to the world, the Lord.
Let me hear a hallelujah if you. <laughs> oh, you crazy people. I am. Wow. He snuck in on me. I didn't see you come in. Listen, we're ready to go. I, we're going to do, I'm going to be here in the morning. And who knows what will happen. I, well, last time I was here, dude, it went on. We're, I, I didn't get home till 1.30. I said, who do those people think they are, man? <laughs> I kept talking. It was like old days and stuff. But the brand new release of the second volume of Timeless Worship just came in to the office. We have it tonight, and we'll have it through Christmas. Uh, in May, May 4th, 5th, and 6th, Ariel's birthday, I was up at Southgate. I recorded the classic scripture songs from the 70s and 80s on a Friday night, a Saturday night, and a Sunday morning. So these are, the new one has As the Deer, Keith Green's song, Oh Lord, You're Beautiful, and Dan didn't know we did this, but both volumes, this is volume number two, there may be a three, uh, so it's the Friday night and Sunday, but it's uh, it's got a light gray cover on it, the original, the volume one has a black cover on it, so um, I don't know what the offer is. Carla, Carla will be back there. It's all back in the, the little room right there. Also, everything's three for 25. I'm not, again, she'll tell you the special order because I got numbers from offline and on the website. And I go, I don't know. I'll just make an ask. So if you pick up your card that Lynette, thank you, Lynette. I was going to call out for that. How'd you know I needed to have that done? If you pick up your card about Ken Henry Ministries, you also, that'll be a reminder. And as Rick was praying, uh, I just want to let you know, Dan McMahon, my videographer, uh, he's been with us for five years. He showed up at Destiny Church February five years ago, and the ushers were bringing him down the main aisle, and they said, we don't know. <laughs> I, you know, I, I was at the prayer room. I was soaking wet because I just got done doing an hour intercession set before. So it was like 6 to, uh, no, it was, it was uh, 5 to 6.30, and this, the ushers go, we don't know. And so I said, it's okay. I said, how's it going, bro? He goes, well, I'm Dan McMahon from Wichita. My wife listens to you and intercedes with your albums every morning. I came over here to see if you're for real. I never flinched. I said, look in my eyes. Do you see him in there? And it freaked him out. <laughs> so he, I said, come on out. Let's talk. And we became real good friends. He, he called me in February before COVID. He says, Kent, He's not overtly super spiritual, you know, like you wouldn't necessarily call him an intercessor, but he prays, and when he prays, it happens. He said, I'm, I'm telling you, this is February, like, 14th or 3rd. It was, no, it was after Valentine's Day. He said, you have to get going on the Sid Roth project. And he said, he only has 55,000 subscribers. He said, these are your people, Kent. They know you from Integrity Hosanna Music. How many go back to 1984 through 94? I did six albums in nine years. And I believe that word. It's, see, when we got online, Rick, the international, I freaked out because Argentina got online within seven days of the streams in March. The, and I, I, I could see what it said in Spanish. They're from the altar of adoration. I said, I'm coming down there. You guys better get ready. If you've got an altar of adoration, I'm coming to that. <laughs> They said, well, come on, you big white man. <laughs> they said, 6'2", 200 pounds. I'm coming to Argentina, Brazil, and the African nations. I, it, I can't believe. That's why those guy, that guy was chiding me. He goes, I can't believe you went to the next level with your ministry during COVID-19. I said, get off of me, bro. Get off of me. But the Africans, they send $2 at a time. Like the widows. My, I cried when Carla said, Kent, uh, we just got an offering from... It wasn't Kenya, it was Uganda for two days. I go, okay, I'm good to go, uh, whatever. You see what I'm saying? So, again, just be praying about it, and then on the way out, you can pick up the stuff. Get to your feet and wish somebody a Merry Christmas. I'll see you in the morning at what time? 10.30. 10.30 is it? Come on out. Do what? <laughs> Prophesy, bro. I couldn't hear what he told you what he said. Which one? Oh, the captain of the host is...